Hi everyone. So lately I've been trolling animal agriculture industry websites and blogs. And they have interesting names like the Pork Network and Meeting Place, that would be M-E-A-T-I-N-G, and Let Them Eat Meat, um, very clever. And I can tell you one thing, in addition to them making you sick to read them, uh, that the animal ag industry is absolutely terrified of the vegan movement. Now how can I tell this? Number one, there are these ag-gag bills and laws. Now these are mostly in the United States, but they're also starting to show up in Australia. And while they vary from state to state here in the U.S., they are always sponsored or authored by people with direct ties, and by that I mean getting money from the animal ag industry. Number two, meatless Mondays have driven some involved in the industry completely out of their minds. In 2012, the USDA made a statement suggesting Meatless Monday was a way to reduce our carbon footprint. <clears throat> it did, that is, until the National Cattlemen Beef Association strong-armed the USDA until it redacted its statement. Look at the lengths Todd Staples, a former rancher and former Texas Agriculture Commissioner, will go to to keep Meatless Mondays out of the schools. He wrote editorials, he made Fox News appearances, insisting that transportation is much worse for the environment than meat production. So you see, those involved with this industry are not above outright lies. Staples, of course, received campaign contributions from beef and ranching groups. That goes without saying. Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa said he would not eat, that he would eat more meat on Mondays to compensate. And Representative Steve King, also of Iowa, vowed to eat double ribeyes every Monday in opposition. Number three. Some of these websites have specific series to address the vegan and vegetarian issue. Meat activists are framing veganism as a restriction of choice. They have to veer away from the ethics and argument that they know they can't win to this anti-choice campaign, implying that people will be forced to be vegan. They also use the phrase vegan agenda frequently as if we're planning some sort of terrorist attack. Number four, the meat industry is trying to influence vegan groups to be more concerned with treatment instead of the ethics of using animals at all. And this seems to be working. They are cooperating with these welfare organizations. They want the good PR and they know they can either get around any welfare reforms or make them to, out to be an advantage to them. They can use words like humane, sustainable, grass-fed, and then they can get ratings from places like Whole Foods for their supposedly high standards of care. Number five, they're paying for anti-vegan studies like the National Cattlemen Beef Association did in 2005. So they took a group of malnourished children in Africa and gave half of them meat and milk. Surprise, surprise, the children with more nutrients had better health. They concluded that, the, that a vegan diet was unethical for children out of this study. Number six, the rise of faux meat, cheese, and eggs has the industry especially freaked out as these products have gotten better and better. Just look at what happened to Hampton Creek. Unilever and the egg industry would not have bothered with the lawsuit if they didn't see this campaign as a threat. They may be trying to frame this as an anti-choice campaign, but what they're really afraid of is that people will have a choice to stop eating the crap that they're promoting. Now make no mistake, <clears throat> people from the animal ag industry are trolling our websites and channels as well. It's not a stretch to imagine them trying to divide this movement. They would love nothing better than to incite divisions among us, much as the tobacco industry did to the anti-smoking movement. That's why it is so vitally important that we stay united and support all other vegans, regardless of their diet specifics or style of activism. So that's it. I hope there's no more drama in the vegan community. We stand united against the animal agriculture industry. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.